Okay guys, we're back for yet another GT Legendary Goku event category mission. This time it is Target Goku. This was actually, I think, one of the first, if not the first of these uh, GT Legendary Goku event, Legendary Vegeta event category missions that I've completed. We are playing it in 1.6 times its natural speed. Uh, again, I don't want to sit and commentate for 20 minutes. My voice has had it. So, I... Did I actually... Yeah, I didn't have AGL Android 13 as of me recording this video or in fact maybe i did and uh, i think i just recently pulled him so i only had him at 55 percent level one links i was like, i'm not bringing no i'm not bringing in agl android 13 to get killed in the final phase so i decided we're gonna bring a double broly team and um, that way we can uh defeat this stage right again broly leads planetary destruction and then movie bosses and there are quite a lot of cross sorry crossover I apologize my words there is quite a lot of crossover between uh, those two teams so rotations were fairly simple i was thinking we'd have broly next to the str android 13 they don't share any links i think at all um but broly is very self-sufficient we're going to go up against a pure saiyan here so again because my broly is also 69 percent he will function very very well and then um, we have STR Android 13, who again, I think is good enough to run in this event. Uh, if we just quickly pull up his kit, he stacks attack and defense all the way through. And then he also reduces damage received by 40% when key is eight or more. Um, right. And then he gets the additional 130% attack and defense when he's facing an enemy whose name includes Goku, Vegeta, Trunks, or Piccolo, right? It does get further buffs uh, if your team is Android 14 or 15, but I just, I tried them in the event, they were getting killed. So I was like, their 4C super attack ability is just not good enough to uh, to warrant me running them, even if they're taking a bajillion amount of damage. So um, even though we start off with Golden Freezer and the Freezer, the Transforming Freezer, again, Broly is the main unit to run, right? Again, that guy starts off with three key, 180% to both attack and defense. He then gets an additional three key, launches uh, an additional attack which has a 30% chance of becoming a super. He already has 18% damage reduction and the launches an additional attack which has a medium chance of becoming a super already even when he's not facing a pure hybrid saiyan. So he's like perfect to run here. He's also stacking attack and defense so he's exceptional. We then had transforming freezer on the other rotation because he is good here but there were many, um, this was, I should be honest, this was not my first attempt at this event. Um, I can't remember if there's a no item run uh, and honestly everything's kind of blended in together this is like again as i mentioned earlier the fifth or sixth uh run of events that i've post commentating over so like i can't remember um but i found transforming freezer whilst he's very good he tanks very good in terms of normals he can take a lot of damage from a super attack. that could also be just because of the team build we don't have big bad bosses activated a lot of the time the only time we'd have big bad bosses activated is if we would have a situation like this where I have SDR Cooler floating and I did also transform because again SDR Cooler's start of turn defense will be a lot higher once he's transformed 180% attack and defense as opposed to the 100% that he gets in his base form but in a situation like this is where we'd get big, big bad bosses activated only or in a situation where we have the physical final form Cooler floating is a situation where we'd have big bad bosses activated which again is very very helpful because that's an extra 25% attack and defense mainly at the defensive level and as you can see uh, Broly is going to work. My Broly is 69%. We go over uh, link levels and dupe system investments at the end of the video. So if you want to just skip straight to that, you can. Broly tanked that fairly well. Again, this uh, GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku does lower defense. And I'm actually glad that he super attacked Broly because Broly can very quickly make up for the, the loss in defense, right? As for someone like Transforming Freezer or for that matter, any type of unit who stacks attack and defense, but they don't have a chance to launch additional super attacks, it will take them a few turns, right? To get back to that level whereas Broly he can very easily super attack two to three times within a turn and regain that lost defense so this was a bit of a tricky stage this is another one of these stages where um, I suffered just because this golden great ape Goku can hit very hard I did go ahead and pop the active skill there for Broly uh, just because I wanted the damage my thing that I was a bit scared about was I needed to finish the golden grade ape goku here just before we get the dokkan mode i was like if we can do that we can then trigger a potential dokkan mode with broly or even physical final form cooler because i believe he's coming up on rotation uh we can trigger the dokkan mode with him onto the next phase the next phase is int as well so that would have really helped me out 
In terms of other target Goku units you could use, again, I'm just going to be looking at the category specifically. I'm, I'm going to assume that you guys are running some sort of age or 113 lead, but, um, you know, the age or androids, they're pretty good. They received an easy A. Tech Android 17 is pretty good here. Uh, there's not really any other LRs who I think are worth running. Baby is not good enough. The Tech LR Broly is not good enough. Intel Cell, maybe he's okay because the final stage has, um, I was going to say the final stage is tech, but no, the final stage is tech. And so Intel Cell has direct type advantage over that stage. He also has his um, one turn, I say one turn, but full heal, right? The 30% chance, I say 30% chance in my words, when, you're, when you fall under 30% health, you then heal. So that could be interesting. As for regular units, um, AGL Super Android 17, I suppose, could be okay. Damage reduction, but you would need to be careful in the final phase. Um, we have AGL Golden Freezer. Could be interesting here as well. Again, you're just going to make sure that you are above 40% health. Um, hmm. Tech here. I don't think Tech here is personally good enough to run. And this is where I was kind of feeling a bit upset. I was like, oh, god damn it. We, uh... We, we got the Doka mode here. Unfortunately, we weren't lucky with additionals and crits uh, as much as I would have liked for me to be or as much as we required to, but it's still fine. The reason why I didn't um, press the nodes there is just, I couldn't be bothered. We were already sitting at full health. I feel I felt like, you know, Golden Great Ape Goku is not going to super attack me anyway, so we'll be fine. Um, at this point, I do move Physical Final Form Cooler onto rotation uh, and I float Tech Golden Freezer just because I want the damage here uh, and Physical Final Form Cooler can output a lot of freaking damage. Um, Int Android 19 and 20 could be a, a potentially good option. Um, they, of course, were the side banner unit who dropped alongside uh, the Tech Doconfest Androids who are not on this team, which I find a bit strange. But again, I suppose the Tech Doconfest Androids are based off the future Androids. And at that point, they'd already... I wouldn't say they killed Goku. Of course, Goku was killed by the heart virus. But I feel like they could have just slid him on the team, right, for more options. Um... Let's see, Int Broly, of course, you can run. He's a must, I would say, if you can fit him on the team. STR units, STR Android, uh, Android? STR Imperfect Cell could be an interesting option just because he does get a lot of defense. He's also a support unit, but I don't know if he's worth bringing. STR hit is probably good enough to bring if you have him just because he's a defensive stacker. He generates his own orbs. The STR Android 17, another interesting option if you want to run an Android-specific build. In fact, the more I look through the roster um, or the selection of units for target Goku, I feel like you can run like an Androids led team with Tech Super Android 17 if you can afford to build that team. I don't know who's gonna have Android 17. Maybe people will do, will do. Maybe people have Android 17 uh, at their disposal based off the 77 unit ticket summon LR during the anniversary. That could be a possibility. Um, and then physical units. Uh, yeah, apart from physical final form cool, there's not really anyone who's screaming off the page. What's interesting is that we have Piccolo Jr. on this team, right? Ma Jr., Piccolo Jr. If we ever get a Doe Confest of that unit, he could be an interesting uh, option. In fact, even as a target Goku leader, he could be interesting, right? Because we're what? What year did uh, Android 13 drop? Android 13 dropped in 2019, uh, and we have still yet to receive a new target Goku leader. So that Ma Jr., he could be interesting, right? Because the, some, the thing that I suppose is the elephant in the room is ever since the ultimate red zone was dropped or released people have been struggling with uh the stage a lot and as we should because the ultimate red zone pretty much fodderizes any and all unit right who isn't a brand new unit uh, i feel like if you're l super gogeta l super vegeta who just easy ed you're pretty good the 70th anniversary allies are pretty good weirus has some potential but like i'm talking like a lot of these units who were released in I say released in last year, but released last year or who were released during the 6th anniversary time period or even before that may struggle. And so I think the power creep going forward is going to be basing these units kits off the ultimate red zone. Uh, and so I think it's very likely that pretty much the Dokkan Fest that we see after the anniversary is going to be very, very powerful, even maybe even overpowered to some extent. Or maybe they'll find a way to make the unit like extremely impressive um in longish events or mid to long events and very like mediocre-ish at short events so i believe actually the reason why we're able to finish it so quickly from this point forward um is the fact that broly just goes hamtaro here he of course we popped his active skill we have a good rotation also in terms of i don't what am i what am i doing just staring at the screen what am i 
what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm just literally standing there. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm watching TV or something. Um, but with Broly, you know, with the active skill, we get the, uh, what is it? Six key, 60% attack and uh, attacks effective against all types. I'm just going to really quickly pull up his kit. I can't believe I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, six key, 60% attack and yeah, attacks effective against all types. I did actually remember that correctly. Why are we still standing still? It's been like 30 seconds. What are we doing? Um, and then of course, because we have transforming freezer and physical final form cooler, they do share a lot of links here, mainly being big bad bosses as the main link. Uh, I seriously do not know what we're doing here. I, I don't even want to, I can't even skip it. Right. Cause again, I'm watching this post commentary. What is, what is the play? Okay, we, after all that time, I put Transforming Freezer in slot 2 and we flowed off Physical Final Form Cooler. Okay, uh, again, I don't know what my intention by stalling for that much time was. I believe Broly quad supers, doesn't he? So yes, there's the second super. Again, at this point, Broly has a 36% chance to crit and a 36% damage reduction. Oh no, he only triple supers, but again, he's triple supering. He's done about 12 million damage in terms of attack stats. He did the one normal. Yeah, this is why we pretty much won the stage, right? And you probably should reserve Broly's active skill for the final, the final uh, phase, just because again, Broly can very quickly just one shot this. What was that? Eight mil? Was that eight mil? No, that wasn't eight mil, right? No, sorry, it was six mil. I was gonna say like eight mil from Final Form Cooler. That's a bit too crazy, but yeah, six mil is still very, very good. So. This will, I think, be the end of the video. There is no way that we lose, uh, you know, full power Super Saiyan for Goku is going to get decimated. It. Yeah, this ain't going to do too much. What, like, I don't know, 120? <laughs> okay. 40k. Well, I suppose that's what playing the ultimate red zone does to a guy. Uh, I, I'm used to just getting super attacked for 800k damage, 900k damage, um, or even just taking normals for like 300k, right? 200k. So... That was pretty much the end of the video. I think we've got one more video to post commentate over next, but I'm going to do that in a few hours. My voice is hurting. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Again, I just go ahead and shuffle levels. Hopefully, I think I missed that off on one of the videos. I think for the large part, everyone is link level 10. Maybe Android 13 isn't. He's not. Maybe physical, not sorry, not physical. SDR cooler isn't as well, but everyone else is. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if this video helped you guys. Let me know what teams you used. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.